every now and then, a mod will absolutely blow me away. I've thought that the battle world community has gone about as far as it ever really can in terms of completely changing the game, and then someone comes along and does something else. And this is exactly what's happened with Man O War. This is a complete overhaul mod for the game that is being worked on to focus on the golden age of piracy directly implemented into Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord, changing the map, changing the complete physics and the way the game is played to implement an all new combat system. I mean, look at this. Look how gorgeous this looks. The ship, the design, the wind blowing on the sails, the way it even interacts with the water as it goes along. Many people might not understand what that really takes, but that's impressive, especially for a game like Mountain Blade that doesn't have any sort of naval stuff implemented into it already. We can see here, if we look at the bottom of the ship, it completely changes the way the water looks. Now we have seen this in the game already. If you walk into water from the beach in native Mountain Blade 2 Battlelord, you will get these water effects, but they've been implemented on the ship's hull itself. And also seeing the wind blowing in the sails. We don't have much information on how directly that affects the actual gameplay. We can see the rope physics here that I assume are taken from horse and cavalry reins in Mountain Blade 2 Battlelord. But what's more exciting is being able to see on the deck, being able to see cannons, and we'll get onto them a little bit as well because this is going to implement full naval combat to try and replicate the age of piracy this is a more static shot here a side on we can see we have our cannons on the side seven broadside cannons it looks like there's room to upgrade though that could be a method in the future to be able to upgrade your ships as you would with your party in general i'm assuming parties are going to be the men and crew on the ships however there might be a separate thing for gaining and growing a fleet or you might just have one ship like you would in a game like assassin's creed 4 black flag and upgrade it that way but the models here are completely another level to anything that we've seen in modifications before. Overhaul mods have done amazing things like adding in elephants, adding in completely new armor, even adding in Star Wars. But these models for the ships look so brilliant. The gold outlining the wood, the attention to detail is another level here. And then we move on to combat, having a look at the 12 pounder naval guns, the way that they extrude out of the hull of the ship, the cannonballs on the side, of course, to reload, and the incredible detail on the models themselves. Looking at a 16th century cannon, and of course, the later medieval time, much less sophisticated, but mine does it look gorgeous nonetheless. Yet my favorite video has to be this one. We actually get to see inside of the boat. If we give it a quick pause just at the beginning of the video, we can see some beautiful things. Once again, the cannons lining the inside that hopefully crew will be able to use and be able to load and fire as you would with artillery on seed walls. This isn't all that far-fetched. AI are already programmed to use ballistas and catapults and trebuchets. There's no reason why they couldn't do the same with cannons. Of course, the animations would take a little bit of shifting, but it would still probably work. We can see walking through the insides in our beautiful clothes, we have our sabre down by our side, our boots, our trousers, merging through the stairs somewhat, it's always going to happen, and of course what I assume will later be the captain's quarters. Moving up through, we get onto the decks of the ship, there's not much detail in this bit so far, we have some barrels and cannons and of course some stairs, but the engraving in the wood here has been done beautifully, hopefully later on we'll see a bit more going on. However, there is a practical side to this, whilst this is the first time that we've seen this within Bannerlord, Warband has done similar things, and they always did this practicality of keeping the decks rather basic. Of course, this could be to do with limitations of the engine, but also there is fighting from ship to ship. Boarding enemy ships has always been a mechanic in this, and if that's going to be the case in Man of War, to make the game work, there needs to be some sort of open battleground for troops and AI not to be getting stuck on and to be able to actually fight properly. But it's the sails here that look gorgeous. The way that it's completely different to the kind of sails that we saw in the previous videos, where we see the way the wind affects the sails in this video in contrast with the way the wind affects the sails in this video. And of course, the captain's position that's a big ass wheel. In addition to this, we've had some extra screenshots. We have flintlock pistols engraved, of course, with where they've been made. We have some of the side looks of the ships with the faction colors down by the side and, of course, pirate flags, if that's the way you want to go. If I was going to speculate, pirate ships will probably be the equivalent to looters, potentially, within this mod, but that's something I guess we're going to have to find out later on. But what is this mod? Well, it takes place around the year 1700. The map will be focused in the Caribbean Sea, and I'm hoping that it's going to be a full color custom map. Is the mod going to be historically accurate? Well, that was something on their FAQ, and the only answer that we've been given is no. Don't know what that means, 
I'm assuming it means they want a bit more artistic license and to be able to do some kind of insane things with it, but they've not really expanded on that. Mod devs, if you're watching this video, expand on that. I think that's probably going to be a sticking point for a lot of people because I've seen especially a Mountain Blade in the community around it. Historical accuracy seems to be a big important thing. Sometimes I think it's just, sometimes I think it's unjust, but it's going to be an interesting one to see what they mean by they don't want to make it historically accurate. Which direction are they going to go with this? How are naval battles going to be implemented though? Well, they've said that it's still a work in progress, but the naval battles will most likely consist of boarding enemy ships. There are a lot of limitations with the engine that Bannerlord has, and whilst modders can do many beautiful things, actually being able to move and steer ships is something that is so far-fetched from Bannerlord's current state that implementing that in the game could be possible in the future, but I'm not entirely sure whether it's going to be in early versions of the mod or even at all. It might just be moving around the campaign map with your ship and then eventually, when you go into battles, being able to board enemy ships that way. Now, of course, we did see that little video of the ships moving, but that looks to be scripted. It looks to be that they've been coded to move in that direction. So maybe we could have some sort of compromise, being able to fight ship battles and have it sort of on rails, but being able to actually sail ships, as you'd expect, would probably be quite tricky. But as I'll get into a little bit, there could be a workaround for this. In general, there's going to be muskets, there's going to be firearms, there's going to be cannons. The main factions are going to be France, Spain, England, and of course the pirate nations, which as I said, I'm assuming are going to replace some sort of looters within the game. Now, as mentioned, a sticking point for a lot of people, I think, is one going to be the historical accuracy and the fact that they're not entirely sure if it's going to be possible to steer ships in battle. It might just be campaign moving around in ships, going into boarding enemy ships battles, as we've seen in many mods before. But Mountain Blade Warband did have some naval modifications and spin-offs. Blood and Gold Caribbean was a standalone game that used the Mountain Blade Warband engine. Within that, you were able to explore the map in the Caribbean, upgrade your ships and recruit crewmen, but you were also able to go into battles with said ships and steer them as you would expect. As you can see here, it does it in a more Total War Napoleon kind of way, where you have an overhead look at the ships, and then of course you can go into boarding battles if necessary. And this was actually mentioned by the developers themselves, mentioning the standalone game and saying that it was a cool expansion, but felt that it tried to be too different from Warband. Maybe a statement that I'm slightly confused by, because it is a very different time era to anything that Warband had, and the whole being able to steer ships mechanic I think was probably the best part and the most unique part of Blood and Gold Caribbean. Why that they would skate past that, I'm not entirely sure. However, the mod developers themselves have said that because Battlelord's on a completely different engine to Warband, it's still not perfect. They're able to change and do some things with the water physics, but because Banlord itself is not a game that includes water at all, I mean, Tailwords never added in ship combat themselves, everything that we've seen in that has been mods, the water physics are very, very basic. Being able to do things like sink enemy ships and interact with it in really any way is very, very limited. All this is very mixed for me. I think this is a very, very promising mod. I think they've got some great ideas and it looks gorgeous, but I think that the limitations of Mountain Blade 2 Banlord could be its downfall. It looked beautiful. It could be something great, but if they're not able to make what I think a lot of people are looking for, which is a pirate overhaul that lets you move around ships, board enemy ships, and play as a pirate, I think people could be in for some disappointment. But once again, we're just going to have to follow the development into the future. Because Man of War is coming, whether you like it or not.